In this video, I'll be going over the different chop type options and use cases. One of the main benefits of Chompler is that all the samples are automatically chopped into 16 slices and automatically mapped across consecutive keyboard notes. Tap the scissors icon to open up the chop type menu. The way the samples are chopped can be determined by selecting one of the four different chop types, which are equal, equal slop, transient, and transient slop. By default, Chompler will automatically select equal when loading a sample into the Chompler engine. Equal slices the sample into equal start slash endpoints across the keyboard, which is useful for isolating specific sections of a sample. Each slice can then be manually edited if required. Equal slop slices the sample into equal sections using the start point. The slice end point is fixed to the sample end, which is useful for the sample chop to continue playing until the end of the sample, or until another sample chop is triggered. These can be manually edited if required. Transient slices the sample at detected transients for the start points, which is useful for isolating drum hits. For example, I've loaded a drum loop and selected transient. The drum hits were quickly detected and ready for use. Each slice can be manually edited if required. Transient slop slices the sample at detected transients for the start points. The slice endpoint is fixed to the sample end, similar to equal slop. These can be manually edited if required. And just a reminder, you can refer to page 10 and 11 of the manual, which also goes over the different chop type options within Chompler. Hand me that ox cord.